Cardio bites. What do we know about the treatment and management of immunoglobulin light chain amyloidosis or AL amyloidosis? Staging of AL amyloidosis largely is based on the degree of cardiac involvement, which is the main driver of morbidity and mortality. Staging should be performed at the time of diagnosis and repeated serially after the initiation of therapy to determine prognosis and treatment response respectively. Patients may be categorized into one of four stages based on the following biomarkers. Difference between involved and uninvolved free light chains, greater than 18 is considered significant, an nt proben p greater than 1800, and a cardiac troponin greater than 0 0.025. Early detection of AL amyloidosis is often associated with better outcomes. Data show that when patients are diagnosed before the development of advanced cardiomyopathy, they often have improved survival. Patients with AL amyloidosis are usually treated with a combination of anti-plasma cell therapies consisting of daratumumab, cyclophosphamide, ortezomib, and dexamethasone. This is known as daracybor-D therapy and is used as first-line chemotherapy. In contemporary practice, stem cell transplantation is considered in select cases, particularly in individuals who do not achieve a complete hematologic response with chemotherapy. It is important to remember that intensive management of heart failure and arrhythmias is critical to improving outcomes in AL cardiac amyloidosis. In certain situations, patients with advanced AL cardiac amyloidosis may be considered for heart transplantation. In summary, morbidity and mortality in AL amyloidosis is driven by the degree of cardiac involvement. Treatment focuses on eliminating the underlying plasma cell dyscrasia. Early diagnosis is critical as patients with advanced or late stage AL amyloidosis have a markedly worse prognosis than those identified in earlier stages. Thank you for tuning into this edition of CardioBytes, brought to you by the Heart Failure Society of America. Support for this program was provided by an independent grant from Alnylam Pharmaceuticals. I'm Kevin Alexander, and I'm an advanced heart failure and transplant cardiologist from Stanford. Please complete this short survey to help us identify more programs that may be of interest to you.